Hi there. This video is a preview of an upcoming Udemy course about web mapping. Also, it is the first video requested by one of my viewers, and it's going to be about Leaflet. Leaflet is a web mapping JavaScript API. It is very famous, light, and fast. I cannot explain everything I know about Leaflet in one video, but I will show you one thing which is modifying the logo. I will first quickly review how I built the simple map before I explain the modification of the logo. First, before we move to the code, I need to show you with simple diagrams how we can build a web mapping object. A leaflet web mapping object is like a container. So imagine this is the container. Then we can add other objects inside the container. The first thing we have to add inside the web mapping object are the map tiles. And we are going to use OSM or Office Street Map tiles. So these tiles are also considered as objects contained inside the web mapping object. And this is the common approach in all web mapping APIs, to have the web mapping object and inside it we put other objects such as map tiles, markers, lines, polygons, etc. So now let's start looking into the code. So I have three files, index.html, the JS file, and the CSS file. Starting with the index.html file, as you can see here, I have two CSS included. So this is the main leaflet CSS file from their website. And this is mine here, and it's under the CSS folder. So if I go back to the folder structure, so it's this one here. So from index, folder CSS, index style.css. Also, I'm adding two scripts or two JavaScripts. So right here, this is the leaflet. This is the whole library of leaflet from their website as well. And this is my JavaScript file also under the JS folder right here. If you also notice, I'm using a meta tag with the name viewport. So this tag ensures that the width of the website matches the device's width that is running the website. It's going to be either a mobile, tablet, or a computer. Then the body is basically one div with an ID logo map. We are going to use this ID to assign the map object to this div. The CSS file is very basic. For the body, I'm using margin zero and padding zero. And for the logo map div ID, it has a position of absolute width of 100% and height of 100%. These settings will guarantee that the map covers the whole HTML body. Now, let's move to the JavaScript code. To define a leaflet web mapping object, let's call it logo map, or you can name it whatever you want, test map, my map doesn't have to be the same name as the div in the index file. Capital L, this is for the leaflet uh, library, dot map. Then we have to pass it the div ID that we need the map object to be rendered in, logo map as well. But right now, we just assign the map object that we need to define its center and zoom level. In order to do that, I have to pass a JSON object of center. This area is in Northern Virginia, I zoom. I set it to 13 and here attribution control set it to false these are the options that i'm passing to the map this is the center of the map that's the zoom level the attribution control its default is true when we set it to false it means take out the leaflet logo so we can modify it later and add it to the map we need to create the osm tiles so let's call it osm tiles that's the name of the object we use capital L again, so we're accessing the leaflet library, tile, HTTP, okay. I'm not going to explain the details behind this link, but I might explain it in another video. Or if you want, you can ask me a question in the comments and I can explain it to you. Then we need to add the OSM tiles, this object, to the web mapping object or the map object. Dot add to logo map. So we're adding the tiles into the logo map. Okay, until now, we did not do anything with the logo. So let's start. The logo, it's also an object that can be added to the web mapping API, similarly to the uh, OSM tiles or the markers, the polygons, and so on. So I've just created an empty logo here. Then I can add the string I need for the logo. So I will start with the OSM and leaflet part, then I'll prefix it with my own logo, ATTR control dot add attribution. I have this long string here. So basically there is a link to leaflet library and here, this is the copy 
the right sign for OSM and this is the link to their copyright website. Now I can prefix it, a function called prefix from leaflet to leaflet and I'll say buy tips for GIS. All right, and I might also add a link similarly to the one here. If you're familiar with HTML, you know what I'm doing here. So I'll just link it to my Twitter account. So we have the logo ready. You can add it to the map. Remember here, we added a tile with this function. We're gonna use it, the same function, add to logo. Before I wrap up this video, I will show you how to move the logo into a different corner. When we define the control right here, we could have passed it an option or a JSON object as an option for position. Position, right, for example. Okay, now we're done with the code, so we can run the demo. But actually, I just found a small mistake here. The name of the function is set prefix, set capital P prefix. Let me save it, and I have stored everything in my local host. This is the map. As you can see, the logo is on the top right. If I go back to the code, if I get rid of the position here, so it will move it to the default, should be the bottom left. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you learned something here. I would like also to remind you that this will be part of an upcoming Udemy course. Please subscribe to this channel. I'll be sending coupons for the subscribers to take the Udemy course or courses. Also, if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Thank you again.